Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Uh, yeah, man. All right, in this video, I am bringing you an expert guide on how to complete the silent and sneaky approach to the new casino heist. All right, now listen. I'm going to show you a couple of different approaches. I'm going to show you with the EMP, without it, a few certain things with the Duggan setup mission and without the Duggan setup mission. Right. Now add whatever you want to to the heist. However, if you follow these steps, you will be successful. All right, let's get right into it. You want to use the staff entry and the staff exit for your heist, okay? As you see right here, Sky's using the stun gun or the taser gun to shoot that little electric box on the metal detectors that deactivates it. So you can walk right up onto these guys. Now remember, the cone of vision is what we're looking for. You could be almost right next to these guys as long as you don't have the cone of vision uh, and you're not inside that. Now you want to use your silenced weapons and you can kill people in the silent and sneaky approach. You pop those two guys right there, you just go, you know, target up, three, two, one, and, and bang them out. Those two guys down the uh, hallway, don't worry about them. There's a couple of guys inside this room. This first approach is without the Duggan mission and without the EMP. This is my approach. I wanted to do this like Rambo and go in hardcore. All right, as you saw right there, those two guys got murked out. You can shoot right through the glass, and for some reason, the glass does not alert anybody. Rockstar logic, right? This one's kind of cool. Uh, just pay attention to Sky as the enemy walks away. Sky goes into crouch stealth mode, walks up on him and then hits them. And listen, yes, they have full armor, but you can still melee kill them with one hit. You have to approach them right up in front of their face or you just sneak up behind them. Go to this little console right here, hit that green button. You can open that little, that little vault right there. That's the daily take. And you can get anywhere between 30 to almost 100,000. We've, we've gotten 30,000, we've gotten 70. This right here was 99,000. And so you have a little bit of extra cash right there. And you can get that on the way out too, I believe. Let us know in the comments down below. All right, so pop that door and going down this hallway right here, there'll be an enemy coming up from the stairs from down below. You just pause. You can almost hear him. Actually, you can hear him walking. And then you just time it right. Boom, just like that. Melee him right in the face, and he's done. Kill, right? Then you come down this flight of stairs. There'll be a camera. Just pay attention to the cone of vision. This guy right here is going to use the taser to blank that camera out. There it goes. It's down. You just hustle up and move on through and now you're down. Now this is pretty cool. There's a couple of approaches for this. You have a couple of uh, tangos right here in the back hallway. You could do one of two things. You can either A, stun them like we're about to here and then just savagely just run up on them and knife them out, right? Knife them out or, you know, stab them or whatever. They're too far away to really set off any alarms. However, we have done this and when we stun them, the one of the guys would bust a few rounds off. He like, and then shoot a couple rounds and then you will fail, all right? Or you just target up your guys. I took the left, Sky took the right and you just rush them and then you just bop them on the head just like this. Boom, see, just like that and done. Look, look at him, that guy slumped. Look, this is so cute snuggling together. <laughs> that is awesome. And that's really, I mean, you don't have to have all these setups. You don't have to have the Duggan setups. I like to challenge myself. Yes, the doing the Duggan setup makes it easier. Oh my God, yes. But, you know, I enjoy the challenge. And if you don't want to do the Duggan, you're not good at that setup. If you're doing this solo, you can do that. Now, this is real tricky right here. There's a guy that's back in the back left corner of the room. You saw him, he's a little red dot in the back left corner. Now watch my radar. You have to bait him. Pay attention to the camera, stay out of the cone of vision. You walk up right to that door and he starts walking. So you just bait him to come down the hallway and just stay out of the cone of vision of the camera. You just do it just like I did right there. And then he starts coming down the hall. It's on Sky's side right here. He's gonna come on down. Just chill, wait for him to make his move. It's coming up, and then boom, just like that, he's done, he's out, game over for him, he's going night-night, all right, and then you just time the camera, stay out of the cone of vision, and then you make your move, all right, cone of vision is gone, We're not, and listen, this room is full of guards, they don't see you because they're not in the cone of vision, or you're not in their cone of vision, so you go to this back room, and you game plan, all right, the two guys inside this little center desk, they have no helmets, so we can pop them real easy, boom, boom. I took the uh, the guy facing the the vaults, and Sky took the guy facing the elevators where we just came from. Now you just you know avoid the camera, just walk underneath it, avoid the um, the cone of vision, 
and there's a guy over here. Now he's got a helmet. We you don't have to kill him. Just maneuver through the little maze of the cones of vision for the cameras. And you can come up on this little office door. You do need to kill this guy because he is looking right through the glass and he will see you. So remember, you do, I always recommend doing level two security setup. Do that level two security prep mission or whatever. And that is important because it will give you access to all these doors or to most of them. Let's walk in, pop that dude. We debated on whether or not killing that guy, but we're like, you don't need to. Don't worry about it. All right. And then you move on through and then you're going into the vault. Pretty easy. Again, this, you know, once you get to the young ancestor, these are all pretty easy, right? Uh, they're not that difficult. I mean, we had a couple uh, missteps, but this did not take anywhere near as long as the young ancestor did. You know, we kind of got all the bugs worked out with that one. And it's really, again, with all these heists, the hardest one is always the first one. The hardest one to complete is always the first one. Once you get the first one done, then it's a piece of cake, all right? Get to the vault. You got the lasers. Do whatever tactic you like to do. I like to just tap uh, the the trigger or the R1 button, whichever one you guys use. I like to tap it. It keeps the heat down. And within about 25 seconds, you'll pop this. If you just want to hold it down kind of halfway, you can do that too. Whatever little strategy you guys use will be fine. They're all going to be within a couple of seconds of each other. So it doesn't really make a difference. I find this one works best for me. Uh, you know, So that's what I do. Pop it out and then bam, you're done. Real easy, real simple. Go in there, collect the cash. You got to get out before the gas comes out. I recommend to leave it about 25 seconds. You can push it a little bit further, maybe five extra seconds. But I wouldn't try it in case you get hung up on like a little cart or something like that. But you got to get out of there before the uh, the gas comes in. You, you know, when you're doing these to get it completed, you want to make sure you, you do it the right way. You don't want to shoot your way out because it's just not going to be fun, especially if you've never done or if you have not done the uh, dug and prep mission because they're going to be all armored up. All right, and I never, I never pay for the the more expensive gunmen. I never pay for that. Uh, it's not worth it. You don't have to use it in any of these, really. So, all right. Now, when you're coming out, uh, apparently all the dead bodies have been cleaned up, and there's uh, bad guys. Now, listen, we had ours glitch out. You should have this guy right here walking around. You see that that uh, NPC who's, who's walking around. He should, you should see him. We had it glitch out and we didn't have him, but I wanted to show you this. He walks around and all you want to do is you want to catch him inside those little sliding glass doors and that's where you kill him. You'll take this guy out first, boom, just like that. And the guy that's moving around, you get you time it right to where he's kind of walking through there and then you kill him inside that room. But for some reason he bugged out for us. So kind of weird. All right, go through the stairs. You'll take out this camera right here to zap it. You don't want to zap too many cameras because that will set off the alarm as well. We only zapped, like, I think, like two of them. Uh, two or three, maybe. And then you just watch the field of uh, the cone of vision for the enemy NPCs walk around, time it, sneak up on them, and then you're out. You got him taken care of. You just walk through the, uh, the locker room right here, the laundry. No big deal. By now, you're pretty much done. This is, this is pretty much it. You have one camera to beat. It's kind of go underneath it. I mean, don't worry about setting the alarm off. It didn't matter. Uh, you know, you have to shoot a little box and bam, we're out. And then that that's it. Now I'm going to show you guys with the EMP, right? So after you take the money and you're about to go back out, right before you hit those doors, that's when you trigger the EMP, maybe a little bit afterwards. But that's that's the perfect time right there. And the guards, you're in those blacked out outfits. They could walk almost directly up on you and they're not going to be able to see you. All the cameras are down. It's really just how quick can you get through it. Uh, go as fast as you can. There'll be one guy that you might have to encounter. We encountered him right here. And again, it, you know, it kind of bugged out. We tried to just walk up on him, and, but it just didn't work out that way. But again, you know, we were fine. It, it was no big deal. Uh, so try and take that a little bit more caution. But that, that was it. You pop that EMP and bam, you're done. You know, so the EMP ab definitely makes it easy. It's not that hard of a prep mission. Uh, you have to use the cargo, Bob. You know, it's kind of a pain, but whatever. Exit out of the staff exit right there, and then just like you always do, you hit the track. You just you know avoid the cone of vision, and remember they're gonna have, you know their their field of vision is blocked by this wall of you know bushes right here. This like kind of like a hedge grove right here, so don't worry about that. Peel off to the side right here, and you'll come on down, and then you're gonna end up. Uh, you know, you can if if they park the uh, your your cars right here again. You don't need to use them. I would not recommend using them because you have to go back out the same way you came. Just hop this fence right here and go get you a NPC vehicle. Real simple, real easy.
We've never not had them spawn. So, and I'm also going to show you the exits, right? You can take the tunnel, which the tunnel is this little cut right here. If you see where our characters are, it's right there. It's right outside the casino. It's real easy to get to. It's that little part on the map, and then you just kind of you can either lose the cops in there. Now, if you try and lose them in there and then drive back out, you're going to get the cops back on you. So just go all the way down. Just take this the, the tunnel all the way through, and you'll come to a fork. You can either go left or right. Go right. Take the right side of that fork. You'll come to a subway station. You can get out of the car, climb up the stairs. You can take a NPC vehicle all the way through. The chopper did not spawn for us this time. Or you can take the chopper if you want to, if it's there. You know, we didn't have any cops on us, so we had the luxury of checking. And if it wasn't there, no big deal. All right. Now, this is the option where we do take the chopper. So we're not going to worry about the sewer. All right. You get into an NPC vehicle. You take the... You should have, we should have taken the first left right there, but that's all right. We just drove right to it. But you, if you take the first left right there, you can kind of cut around the corner, and you'll be fine. You get to the police station. It's the building right there with those blue lights. All right, you come around this side right here. And there's two different ways to get to the, the chopper right here. We took the traditional way, but there's also a little bit easier way, I think, on the bottom side. Here we go. Let's hug uh, the, the wall right there with your left shoulder. It's real easy to get up the duct work. Chopper is right there, and then you're about two minutes away from completing it. You know, we didn't lose any money. We didn't get detected. We got the awards, which you're about to see right here coming up. And this, that is the expert guide, right? I mean, this is, it's very simple, very easy. Just follow those steps, uh, follow those, that, that method. And if one of your guys gets bugged out, like I said, that one guy getting bugged out, kill him inside those glass doors. That way he's not being seen on the camera. And you don't have to worry. You can just rush right up to him almost and pop him right in the head. And bam, you got him, all right? So let me know if you guys got any questions. Leave any other tips and strategy in the comments down below. Let's help each other out. Thank you so much for coming to the video. Subscribe to my channel for the Ill Surreals content. The game, I mean, smash that like button. Stay dangerous. See you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.